Thank you so much for joining me today on Just Praise Him Radio. I'm your host, Glenda Lomax, and my job is to inspire you to a closer walk with Christ. Now here's the show. Hello, believers. Welcome to the Just Praise Him radio program. I'm your host, Glenda Lomax, and tonight we're going to talk about something interesting. Um, This subject, uh, this was not my plan for the podcast for this week, but it came up, and it's something I personally am going through and have been grieving over. So I'm guessing that if I'm going through it, y'all are probably going through it too. Please excuse the crickets in the background, in the AC in the background. I'm in a hotel room. So uh, there's an invasion of crickets where I am. They're really annoying, but they're there. So So the title of my message this week is Separations Occurring. Uh, I've been going through some grieving over some separations that occurred in my life in very, very unusual and unforeseen ways. And wasn't sure quite what to do with the grief. And I kept thinking, I think I've seen a word about separation somewhere. And so I went and looked on the JPH site and I definitely did. So I want to share the words about separations with you, because if you are not going through these separations, you will be soon. The first word I'm going to share with you that we're going to review is dated December 28th, 2020, and it's called see them with spiritual eyes. My children, a time of personal grief approaches for many of you. Prepare your hearts that you may walk through this grief without losing pace. The enemy will try to increase the the grief so that you cannot function in your daily life. Forbid him this, for what is coming will not wait on your grief. There are many unsaved in those nearest to you, and in what is coming, Not only will they be a danger to you, but you will also be a danger to them. I have told you that others shall deliver you up to be afflicted and killed, but have you considered that there, those near you, association with you will cause persecution to come to them as well? This can cause them to be forced to deny me before they have the chance to know me. For this reason, I am beginning to cause some separations to occur to move them away from you. This is for their safety as well as yours. You have asked me to protect them, but did you consider what that might, what might be required? Many near you have never suffered. Let me start this word over. This word, the first word is dated December 28th, 2020, and it's called See Them With Spiritual Eyes. My children, A time of personal grief approaches for many of you. Prepare your hearts that you may walk through this grief without losing pace. The enemy will try to increase the grief so that you cannot function in your daily life. Forbid him this, for what is coming will not wait on your grief. There are many unsaved in those nearest to you and in what is coming. Not only will they be a danger to you, but you will also be a danger to them. I have told you that others shall deliver you up to be afflicted and killed. But have you considered that those near you, their association with you will cause persecution to come to them as well? This can cause them to be forced to deny me before they have a chance to know me. For this reason, I am beginning to cause some separations to occur to move them away from you. This is for their safety as well as yours. You have asked me to protect them, but did you consider what might be required? Many near you have never suffered any need, and so they see no need of me at all. For this reason, too, must I create a separation, that they might cry out to me when their season of need arrives. I use many tools to accomplish the protection and salvation of those you pray for, my children. Do not grieve when these separations occur. But see them with spiritual eyes, and know I am quietly answering your many prayers on their behalf. They are safe in my mighty hand. Okay, let me pull up the next word. These are not in order, so I have to hunt for them. Because I'm trying to read them to you in chronological order. I like things to be in order. There it is. 
Okay, this one is called Grief and the Separations, and it's dated August 6th, 2021. I've reposted a lot of these. My children, some of you will suffer grief in this time as separations occur from those you love. Many of you will discover that those you thought would never leave you are actually quite content to do so with no thought to your happiness. Do not fret. I have increased the darkness in them that you might see, that I might keep you safe a little longer. Few in the world will be for you when this is done, only those who carry my light. You are not of the world. I give families and friends and spouses in the world that you may learn while you are there, but all unions are not of me. Many of you have entered into unions I did not ordain. Many of you have family members and friends who do not know me and do not wish to know me. Many of you have continued in relationships after I showed you they were not ordained by me. Obey as I lead you and trust that I know what is best. I will comfort you when you grieve those you lost. I was shocked when I started reading these words today. I haven't read them in a long time in that they applied directly, some of them directly to my situation. I'm like, okay, that is what is going on. Okay, this word is called separations. There's two different words called separations. This is the first one, dated July 19th, 2021. My children, I have begun separating the sheep from the goats, though you are yet on the earth. I am drawing the lines and making them clearer and clearer that all may see who is mine and who is for me and who is not. The increase of light and darkness continues. My light shines more brightly through you, even as the wicked become more wicked for all to see by the hour. In the time to come, these separations will cause many to persecute you as they realize you are provided for and protected, and they are not. Do not fear this because I am beside you every step of this journey, and you bring me great honor and great joy when you refuse to fear the enemy's tactics. Okay, and the next word is dated November 17, 2021, and it's the other word called separations. Let me find that one. Bear with me, I'm paging back and forth between two pages of words. Don't want y'all to hear these. Okay, separations. My children are beginning to experience unique separations from the, some of those they love. Do not struggle against these partings, for they are by my design, that I may enrich you further in their absence, and that I may get them prepared for the tribulation just ahead. You have prayed for me to change them. Now release them so I can. Release them to me and do not try to save them from their own actions any longer. Release them and allow me to comfort you, as I know what is best for them now. They will not be strong enough to survive what is coming if you do not release them to be now. When you attempt to prevent their every struggle, they have no need of me. Continue in prayer for them and my other lost ones, that I may save them before it is too late. My children, for time truly is of the essence now. The enemy of your souls has increased his attacks in a desperate attempt to steal more souls for his kingdom. In this last hour, do not cease to pray for your loved ones that his attempts do not succeed. Okay, the next one is dated November 19th, which is two days later. Ways you could never imagine. This one really hit home for me. I would like to, y'all email me if you're going through this too. I, I cannot possibly be the only one going through this. There it is. November 19, 2021, ways you could never imagine. My children, I have warned you about coming separations from some of your loved ones. As these separations occur, they will happen in ways you you never could have imagined. Some of these separations will bring much grief to you. Bring your pain to me and I will bear it for you. Some of these separations are being allowed that I may move my children to safer locations that you may do my work a little longer in the earth. Fear not, my children, for I have all in hand. 
The world is becoming more dangerous by the day for my children. Soon I will come for you and bring you home to myself. The next word is dated November 24th, 2021. It's called turning. Sorry, y'all, I'm not traveling with a printer. I usually print all this out, and I can page through it faster. And I'm not traveling with a printer. I didn't have room for it in my truck. So I'm having to do this from the screen, which I never, ever do. Bear with me. Okay, November 24th, 2021, turning. I have told you there are separations coming from some of those you love that will happen in ways you could never have imagined, and it is true. Some of these will betray you in ways you did not foresee, and your hearts will grieve. Remember, my children, when these things happen, that those who betray your trust are under the influence of darkness. As the darkness in each person continues to increase, there will be more betrayal than ever before. Pray diligently for those who hurt you in this way, for if they do not repent, they shall be left to suffer in the tribulation as I refine them. Do not hold anger against them in your hearts, but release them to me. I know what is best for them. Okay, and there's two more words. This one is dated December 27, 2021. And it's called Sure Separations. I just love that one. Y'all, I sure hope August is better than July. Wow. June and July have not been very fun. I don't know what y'all are going through, but it's definitely not been fun on my end, I can tell you that. Okay, December 27, 2021. Sure Separations. I can't talk about everything that's been going on yet. Hopefully I'll be able to later. I am making the separations sure. I am drawing the dividing lines and making the divides wider. I am allowing you the opportunity to see who is truly for you and who will be against you in this time. Very few are for you, my children. I will move circumstances to cause those you only think are for you to reveal their true colors, that you may know you do not have their support. I will cause what is hidden in darkness to be revealed for the benefit of all of my children. In times of war, it is important to know who is on your side and, more importantly, who is not. Be not afraid. Be watchful. Be listening. Be praying. Fear not, my children, for regardless of who forsakes you, I will never leave or forsake you. I am your shelter, your refuge, and your strong tower in this time of war. Okay, there's one word left. It's dated January 18th, 2023, and it's called Much Glory. Much Glory. My children, do not grieve the separations that come into your life now, for if you could see why they are happening, you could only thank me for them. I desire to protect you and all you love in this present time and the time to come. The time to come will be very difficult for all who are still in the earth. You who walk closely with me, who are devoted to me, and my kingdom will not be there, for you will be here with me. There are many in the earth who seek to do you harm, and this will increase exponentially in this next season. Pray against these who hate you, that they not succeed unless it is my will for you. Pray against the hatred rising against all my people. Do not cease to pray against these things, for your enemy seeks to destroy all who know me with his hatred working through those who have never known me. This will be a terrible time, yet it will be a time when I get much glory through those willing to lay down all for my name's sake. Okay, so listening to all the words about the separations. He's been telling us these since... The first one was in 2020. There was a bunch of them in 2021 and then one so far this year. I can tell you for a fact, this is occurring in my life right now. And it does bring grief. And it is not fun at all. And I didn't see it coming and I didn't see the way it would come. That's why I wanted to review these words quickly for y'all because it's just a reminder that he told us this was coming. That's what these reviews are. It's saying, hey... He told us all these about this one subject, 
So be prepared for this. If it is not happening to you yet, it will. He's moving people away from us and he's causing separations with people that are near to us. And it's for their sake, probably more than ours. And we're not supposed to fight it. So I hope this helps you. Um, I hope that you will think about this and that when it begins happening in your life, you will recognize it. Jesus bless you. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a great week. Thank you so much for tuning in today to Just Praise Him Radio. I hope this has inspired you to a closer walk with Christ. You can contact me by mail at my new address, JPH Inc., P.O. Box 854, Altus, Oklahoma. That's A-L-T-U-S, Oklahoma 73522. Or by email at wingsofprophecy at gmail.com. JPH is not affiliated with any nonprofit organization, church, or denomination. What is in store for the once great and mighty nation of America in these end times? What is the living God saying to the people of America now? What could possibly be in store for a nation that once trusted in God, but has changed its path from following in the living God's ways to now removing Him from everything and walking the other way? In the book, No Longer Mind, you will find all the messages to America collected in one place in chronological order. No Longer Mind, Messages to an Unrepentant Nation is now available in print at wingsofprophecy.com in the bookstore tab. Get your copy of No Longer Mind today. If you ask anyone you know what the most difficult experience of their life has been, many will answer about a time of betrayal. All those called to walk the narrow path will at some point encounter Judas. How will you respond? Do you know how to recognize Judas when he shows up in your life? Can you keep Judas from bringing destruction to your life and ministry? How can you minimize what Judas cost you? Can you pass the test of absolute betrayal? Get your copy of The Judas Test, available in print and new audiobook, The Judas Test by Glenda Lomax, available now on Amazon.com. Sold out for 30 pieces of silver? In Exodus 21, 32, it is the price of a dead slave. In Leviticus 27, 2-7, it is the price of a live one. Jesus was sold for the price of a bondservant. Precious Jesus, the Son of God, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, why did Judas sell his friend out so cheap?